Hi there, foster friends. This is Jill with The Foster Life. And you're gonna have to excuse my hair. A pool is happening today. Hiking in Vermont is happening today. We're finishing up a vacation. But I wanted to talk with you for a couple of minutes about a call that I just received. And it, it kind of sparked some thoughts that I wanted to share. I received a call from a woman who's interested in becoming a foster parent. And she would like to be considered for fostering teenage girls who are pregnant or who have young children. I love these kinds of calls because they never happen. It is the, it is the rarest of all. It absolutely takes someone with gifts to foster teenage girls who are pregnant. It takes someone who is really, really patient. It takes someone who understands the hormones that are involved with a teenager, let alone like pregnant teenager or newly, you know, new mama teenager. Those are the girls who really, really need foster homes the most. And they need someone who is willing to understand them, who is willing to hold on to them no matter what, because they say God awful things because they're hormonal raging um, messes. And they have this tiny little thing now that they have to take care of and they're, they're so scared and they need a lot of guidance and they need a lot of, a lot of teaching. So with that, Teenagers, with teenagers come huge blessings. And I've talked, I've spoken about that before, that we foster teenagers. I love it. I love fostering teenage girls. But there is a need for people who are willing to foster the teenage girls who are pregnant or who are new mamas. So let me try to just inspire for a minute. Our population of foster parents are lacking in a couple of different departments. Number one, our professionals, who have those degrees, who are in professional positions, they're not fostering. There are very few of us. Um, at least in my area, there are very few of us who are professionals who foster. And that kind of sucks, guys, because the kids, we have kids that need to see you, need to see what what is an education gonna do for their life? How can they have a career that um, that is going to be significant and could do great things if they don't have people behind them pushing them to, to earn that education. So professionals, number one, we need you to step up. You're dropping the ball. Number two, we need single families. We need single moms. We need single dads. There is such a gift to being a single mom who is a foster mom. I was one. Foster moms, here's, here's where we really need you the most. The, the single foster mothers, here's where we need you. We need you to take in those teenage girls who have a history of um, of making allegations against against men or against foster fathers because that's a real that's a real concern for foster fathers. It doesn't happen all that often, but there are girls who have done those things. And who's going to take them after they make an allegation like that? That is that comes back false. Not many. We need you for that. We need you to take those girls who have been severely sexually abused, who trust no man, and. We need you to help them understand that men can be trusted and that there are good men in the world who don't do things like that. So there's a huge need for you. We need you. And you don't have to just take teenagers. We need you to take babies. We need you to take all ages. But specifically, what a gift you could be to a teenager. Single men. Single men, I know, and I've had many single men tell me, uh, you know that as soon as I start filling out that foster application, someone's going to think I'm a freak. You know what? Has that happened in the past? Sure, it has. We have had single men who have fostered, who have taken advantage of that position. But I know that there are so many great men out there. We need you to take those teenage boys who, we need you, you strong men, you strong men who are respectful and kind and who are good men who just are single or haven't found the right person yet. We need you to take those teenage boys. We need you to teach them what it means to be a man. We need, to, we need you to teach them that you know, this is how we treat women or um, or maybe show them just a different side of how a man really should behave and how he should act and what a good man looks like. We need you to take those boys who unfortunately have experienced sexual trauma and then who have then victimized other children because nobody else can take them. We need you to take those boys and teach them why that was wrong and help mold them and guide them and help them become good men and and really breathe into them you know, that just because this thing happened to you doesn't mean that you have to continue that cycle and, and continue that. So this was like really fly, you know, fly by the seat of my pants kind of post, but it needed to be said. And so I went to take a minute 
and share these things with you. We need you single families. We need you. Um, we need those professionals. We need you to step up, guys. My gosh, come on. I know what your house looks like and I know you got one or two kids. Come on, seriously. So let's like send this to a friend. If you have a friend who has a heart for fostering but keeps finding a reason why they can't do it, like, oh, I'm single, when I get married, when I do this, when I do that, send this to them. If there's a single, you know, a, a married family um, and maybe someone's on the fence, send them this video. You know, I'm not afraid to offend people a little bit. If it means like for the good of the cause, I'm okay with that. I don't mean to be offensive. I want you to foster. So contact me. I will hook you up. I will hook you up with someone who can help you get started. But we need you. So have a good day. Send this to a friend who's interested. And you know what? Maybe that needs to be you. Have a good day.